Mario? Are you looking at us? Or the squirrel? It's like you're looking right at us. Or the squirrel? Huh, Luigi, you have a squirrel too. And a flashlight. Are you looking at the squirrel? Or, or us? Who are you looking at, Luigi? Princess! Ah, oh, what happened to you? Toad, your eyes aren't so realistic. But you have a squirrel in your pack. You have a squirrel in your pack! Ah, there's the real princess. She's looking right back at us. With a squirrel. Of course, a squirrel. On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we have the Nintendo Illumination, all new, the Super Mario Brothers movie action figures from Jack Specific. There's Mario, Luigi, Toad, and the Princess in fine packaging. What do we got? Very interesting indeed. Let's get right to these, see what they can do, how far they can jump, how many coins they can collect. Squirrel Stampede! So here we go with Jack Specific, the Super Mario Brothers movie, first wave of action figures. We of course have Mario here to start us off. That would be odd if it was anything but. We have his brother Luigi back here, and of course Peach and Toad. We've got to give some credit to these amazing boxes. Jacks went all out with this collection. A little more fancified than what we have seen from them over the past several years of what they offer with Super Mario. They've always done a pretty good job. These look high quality though. They're pretty spendy. They run about 20 a piece. That's $20 a piece. What? Typically a Mario figure runs about half that. But there's some premium details they say and some realistic eyes and 16 points of articulation followed by an accessory making these pretty complete. So of course we'll check out Mario first. Maybe do a little comparison of past Mario. The boxes are actually pretty oversized. There's a lot of space in the back there in the far left corner too. They must not have got the memo on reducing plastic waste in boxes. But I sure like the window approach of these boxes. I'm going to be very careful in opening these. That way I can place the figures back in and display. I think they're just perfect displayable boxes. So let's jump Mario out, see what he can do. And Mario out of pack. Hmm. To my exact action figure knowledge, I don't recall Mario ever coming with a plunger accessory. That's a first. A plunger accessory with Mario. He's certainly more realistic looking, a little more puffy than normal, I would say. And then there's like high detail work of stitching over his coveralls, laced boots, and those eyes. Those eyes are looking at us. I guess they're really trying to capture that animated look with their eyes. Wow, he's almost following the camera going back and forth. It's a simple little approach. I think it's just a clear acrylic cover over a reset eye in the back there, but it certainly looks more realistic, kind of teary, like uh, there's actually some water in there. Very interesting and kind of creepy. Yeah, you can really see the stitch work on those coveralls. They look just fantastic. Good coloring, a nice bold red for his shirt, bright blue for the coveralls, and the shoes again with, with some laces. Mario gloves for gripping, one hand open, one hand gripping, and yeah, overall I think the likeliness to what you see in the new Super Mario Brothers movie is going to be pretty close. They really worked on the designs to what the animations look like. So these figures boast 16 points of articulation, 16 points, let's see if we can find them. Well the head will start things off, there's a little bit of rotation here, slightly encumbered by the back hair of Mario, must be a ball joint. Shoulders on pin hinges that rotate around and reach out, elbows that rotate as well, and wrists that rotate. Then we've got some awesome midsection articulation right under this pocket uh, seam line, or waistline, I guess you could say. Maybe a ball joint or something? It's not the most movable, but there's something in there. Probably a ball joint connecting them together. And then we've got uh, hips there on uh, some ball joints with another joint up here at the thigh, knees, and feet. So yeah, I think that does add up to about 16. You could say even more if you double count some of the jointage on the shoulders and elbows. Sometimes those can be set as extra points of articulation. So plenty of points there. And of course, again, not to forget about his plunger accessory. Pretty funny. I, again, do not believe I've seen a plunger associated with Mario before, but that's kind of movie-centric. So yeah, we've gone through many a Mario here at Squirrel Stampede. Obviously, the most important Mario is Squirrel Mario. Oh wait, that's Raccoon Mario. I don't think I have a Squirrel Mario. What's with you, Jax? I think the Mario figure that would most match this new movie Mario would be the Odyssey Mario. You can see some stitch work in his pants, too. Stitch work or rough highlights, about the same with these two in a way. You can certainly see the scale upgrade though now. What do we got for old and new? 
All the previous Jack Pacific Marios were based off a 4 inch scale and certainly that was a 4 inch scale whereas the new one is about a 5 inch scale. So they've increased the scale a little bit which is good and bad, obviously gives you a more detailed figure, makes it a little harder to interact with past figures, but maybe not. Some of the many mobs throughout the years always felt a little bit too scaled with Mario. This is nicer to see a little bit shorter mob from previous generations of Jacks kind of scale well to the new Mario movie stuff. So I guess not too much of a worry of the scale change. This Mario figure right here would be your most basic Mario figure that we've seen many times through Jacks, just maybe sometimes with different fists or a different face. You can see that new eye detail just looking right back at him going, wow, I'm so much more complicated. And here's a flashing invincible star Mario to just knock everybody else down. Of course there's another Mario option out there. There's also a series of Mario Karts associated with the movie. These are going to give you smaller scale figures plus a cart at better price point. I think these were around 15. You might even find a good sale. I'm going to go ahead and review these in a separate upcoming video so stay tuned for that. The collection this time involves Mario, Peach and Toad and a Koopa. And I have a feeling we'll see more bikes released at a certain point. But today we're checking out the figures, let's check out Mario's bro Luigi. Luigi here with his trusty flashlight based off what we're seeing with trailers for the new Super Mario Brothers movie. A lot of action going on with each character specific games. Luigi's Mansion being mentioned and of course Mario Kart's realistic eyes, premium details and also 16 points of articulation. He's pretty much a clone of Mario, right? Let's open him up. Well, not exactly a clone, just another character with coveralls, mustaches, and a hat. So Luigi is out, looking all two-player-ish, a little bit taller, of course, than Mario, so we may even stand about five and a half. How will that look? Yep, about five and a half inches there. So we've got some scale relations going on with the figures, that's very good. Also with the high detail coverall stitch work and laces on the boots. They look great, don't they, in those eyes? Those creepy, creepy eyes keep staring at me. Certainly more humanistic in a little way there. They're gonna match their animations pretty well. And of course, Luigi with a flashlight on this figure. I almost thought this front plate would glow in the dark. It almost had that color, but it did not. And Luigi, of course, sporting the same articulation as Mario with head rotation a little easier because his head is taller up. Uh, same with the shoulders, elbows, wrists. And this body rotation also works a little bit better with Luigi, I think. I can get a little more swing. A swing on him which is cool with his flashlight you can get him into some pretty cool positions so I love all the articulation they've added with these hips and knees and feet feet right the feet are on an extra little point there yeah it's kind of like a little ball joint I see a ball joint under the pant cuff these two together look great they're highly posable they really look good so I guess the extra 10 bucks they put into these is quite worth it. It's a good series. It's a good series of action figures. And a quick comparison of what we've seen with Luigi over the years through Jack Specific there. He certainly looks a little funny now. That added detail of the movie figures puts these olders to shame a little bit. But the olders are a little more based off a cartoony look versus a nice CGI animated look. I have a bin almost full of unique Marios and as for Luigi there's only a few extra different variations. I've got a cat Luigi and a fire flower Luigi from the past so so it's always nice to see Luigi included. And now Invincible Mario will knock them all over. So while everyone is recovering, let's look at the third figure. Let's look at a toad. Toad! Is it a toad or toad? Is toad the name of one specific toad or is toad the name of all the toads? Things that keep me up at night. Toad also with real nice packaging. They're all labeled on the side. Who is inside? What are they up to? Love a little bio, but there's no bio on there. I like the side art there. That really helps in displaying. If you don't have too much room, you could stack your boxes sideways and still know who's inside. And lots of space wasted inside there. It's like a cavernous cavern in there. Oh, they could have reduced the size of this box and saved the planet a little bit. Way to go, Mario. Let's see what Toad looks like inside. And Toad out of the pack with a giant pack on his back. How is he even standing? We're going to be able to stand. Yeah, this might be the most back heavy, back sided, lopsided action figure I've seen in a while. The pack he's holding on might be even bigger than his torso. Oh, I actually got him on a foot. I didn't think that would happen. You gotta lean him forward a little bit on those little Toad feet. What an interesting figure, kind of maybe Captain Toad-esque in a way with his pack bringing along that is just, it's full of everything, rope, a pickaxe, what is this, Minecraft, he's got a cup, a lantern, everything he needs for their little adventure. I kind of wish they could have toned down that pack though, it's a little bit much. He's a little shorter than Mario, what do we got for height? This Toad figure running approximately four, four and a quarter inches tall, maybe four and a half if he's standing straight which is kind of difficult to do again. These little feet are on articulated posts, but you do can kind of lean him back on his pack there. 
So a few less points of articulation than the brothers, nine points of articulation. Obviously this giant head rotating at the neck, I almost thought maybe you could squeak in another point right below the hat. Uh, a shoulder point, pin hinges to reach out, rotate at that shoulder point. Elbows with just a hinge, so you can't really rotate much. Nothing at the wrists, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the hips. And those hips move quite nice, big leg pieces on those pants. And seven, uh, eight, nine with the feet there. The feet are on little ball joints, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine points there with Toad. And then, of course, give that whole backpack a whole life form. It's so giant. Maybe the backpack's the action figure, and Toad's the accessory on the back. The detail's spot on, though. That's good. Hey, I wonder about this frying pan he's holding on. He has this frying pan accessory, and I think we might be able to even jam this in his pack. Oh, it can! The pack has been redeemed. The pack will hold his accessory. That's a nice little feature. So it's certainly nice to have a Toad included, of course. Oh, there he goes. It's certainly nice to have a toad included, but man, that back heavy pack is going to make him a difficult play. It is a little bit much, but he's pretty cute. As for Jack specifics, toads throughout, throughout the, years. the years. We've got our toad to match here, a little bit shorter. Let's see, the four inch series of toad was probably three inches, right? He's always got to be a head shorter than Mario. So I have somehow collected a red toad, a blue toad, and a green toad with a chain chomp. Look how there's a green toad with a chain chomp. Oh no. And there they go. Many colorful toads have been released from Jack Specific over the years. And a few other colorful toads in the two inch figure line too, the two and a half figure line. So that leaves us with one final Super Mario Brothers movie figure. We've got Peach, of course Peach included here in the first wave of four. I'm assuming we'll see a second Peach around with her more pantsy uniform. This is classic Peach in dress. This may redeem issues we've had with past Peach there's always been something a little off about my other Peach action figure. I can't quite place my head on it right now, or think what was wrong with that one, but I always had some issues with my previous Peach. So maybe a new Peach will solve that, and I can substitute this new one in. So let's get Peach out of pack. And there she is. Oh, I'm sorry what happened to your kingdom, Peach. Everyone's down. So another highly detailed the Mario movie figure Peach here. They've done pretty well, her hair, is sculpted all so nice with different strands of blonde. Her dress is detailed in several layers. And the goldeth crown upon her head also looking fancy. Each figure with those realistic eyes looking back at you. She has her umbrella. I just recently finally found my Nintendo DS version of Princess Peach where she has an adventure with her umbrella and her emotions. Kind of a fun game there. Never beat it though. I always got close but never finished it. Articulation. Only eight points. So even one less point than Toad, what do we have? So her head rotation, I imagine it's going to be very limited with all that hair. Is it even rotationable? I'm not going to try. Obviously, I have my reasons. But there will be some articulation up on her poofy shoulders there. So there's one point, two point with elbows, three wrists. So there's one, two, six points. Nah, seven with her waist and under her dress. Let's not look too long, but we've got two little feet there holding her up. Most of her dress is just kind of being stabilized by the giant dress circle thing. So I'm counting seven main points. I guess the neck would be the head, but that's kind of ridiculous because of all that hair. She's not going to move her body head. So again, Jack's Pacific Peach through the years. There she is, looking nice and clean. Luckily, I still do have her head. I didn't lose it. It's a downside. We've had accidents over the years. And there we go. There we go. There's Princess Peach, everybody. She's looking pretty good from the past. Definitely an upgrade, though, on this newer Peach. Seems like they got her face better than what they had from before. So, if you're looking for a nice, new, clean Peach, really tall Peach, check out these new Marioverse movie figures. So that's the new First Wave movie collection of figure Toad, Peach, Mario, and of course, Luigi. Looking all good, all four of them. Again, maybe the only issue would be cost. $20 a piece, that's an $80 figure investment. Whoa! So there's one more giant figure for the 4 inch figures to look at, but we're gonna hold off a little bit. There's a very giant and enormous Bowser figure to go along with this 5 inch collection. Yowzer, he's huge! There's enough plastic in this character to beat all four of these combined. Looks like he may even have light up breath. We're gonna take a look at this guy in his own video, he's that specifically awesome. So there is the new 7 inch Bowser. 
with fire breathing effect. Totally worth his own video. So stay tuned for that in the Mario Kart video too. Lots of great stuff for the Mario movie. Oh look at that, Mario passed out. He can't handle it. He's gonna need a lot of help in this movie. And that's the Super Mario Brothers movie action figures. First wave from Jack Pacific. Pretty good, always fun to collect a Mario or two. If you liked today's video, please give us a squeak, a squirrel eye, squamit what you're most excited for in the new Super Mario Brothers movie. Don't forget we have Bowser and some Mario Karts coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs>